Hello and thank you for coming to us, Legal Challenge. We here at Legal Challenge want to help you, the UK citizen and the motorist. Why? The constant government and local authority attack must stop. They ignore the stabbings, the knife crimes and instead concentrate on the motorists. Why? To make money. This Dick Turpin approach of stand and deliver by the government and the authorities must stop. The only way it can stop is by concerted effort by everyone. Australia did it, Spain did it and their governments backed off. The fox hunting protests attacked the House of Lords of Parliament a few years back. These protesters had high influence from those landowners, gentries and those who had money to fight their cause. We, the motorists, are ordinary citizens who want to restore our freedoms and expressions and not to be attacked by road traffic laws, rules and regulations of the congestion charge and parking rules and regulations. The UK has no natural resources, therefore it chooses its citizens as a resource payers. It's the biggest scourge and the most greatest con of the 21st century in what we call the greatest democracy in Great Britain. Millions of pounds, soon billions of pounds will be made from slapping the motorists by reducing the width of roads, introducing of box junction, imposition of double yellow lines in cities and towns, imposition of credit card machines. So what happens if you do not have a credit card? Does this mean you haven't got the right to park? Transport for London controls buses, trains, black cabs, minicabs, but yet sets its eyes on minicabs in an unfair competitive approach in favour of black cabs. Motorists are being slated by councils and TfL through the introduction of CCTV cameras which they thrust on our throats in a 24-hour operation and control arena. So why make more cars? What are cars made for? When can we use the cars? The DVLA have come onto the bandwagon by introducing CCTV cameras on its agency appointed tourway fleet companies. They impose rules to tow away and dispose of your property. What they use is subsidiary law which is totally illegal and should be contested in the courts. They then slap you in the face by selling your private details for commercial gain. The crooked bailiffs with their muscle builders come to your front door at 7.30 in the morning pretending to be God's gift. What they don't realize is the money they expropriate from you goes to feed their families. Year upon year me, you, the ordinary citizen, the motorist, we will be attacked. This psychological rape by the authorities must cease. The government has vouched billions to bail out banks in this pathetic, ludicrous credit crunch, but will continue sending the bailiffs to your front door, to the ordinary person who is simply struggling to survive. The time has come to stand up and fight for your rights, for what is good and against bad. The evil that exists in our society, which the government supports and manipulates in favour of money, must stop. Congestion, parking, bus lane, all these laws are just tax locusts regimes with excuses. They are nothing but tax locust regi regimes. With, no, with excuses. Watch out, you will pay for the credit crunch, you will pay for the 2008 Olympics. New rules, new regulations will come through your front door. So watch this space, you have been warned. Join the cause and fight in the courts. We have the right and the freedom of expression 
not to be penalized 24 hours a day, 365 days a year in a democracy so-called. Join now Legal Challenge at hotmail.co.uk That's Legal Challenge at hotmail.co.uk Thank you for listening.